Hello and welcome to this week's Super Women's Wellness Connection Channel. My name is Kim Goldtom and I'm the owner and founder of Creating Legacy Wellness and the Empowered Living for Superwomen program. And I'm so excited to be hosting this channel weekly where I'm bringing superwomen from all over who are sharing more wellness tips about their modalities and what they do and how they can bring actionable tips to you at home right now. And today I am so lucky to have the two owners of Discover Teas with me here today. I have Emily Camp and Mayan Tran. Hi. <laughs> Thank you both for being here. Thank you for inviting us. Yeah, it's great to be here. I'm so excited to have you both here. And I just wanted to ask you if you could just share a little bit about your background and what brought you here into um, Discover Tea. Well, uh, hi everyone, Maya and Chan here. And uh, I always liked tea as a growing up and whatnot, but I didn't really know much about it. Kind of started getting into loose leaf tea in college, but didn't really, uh, didn't really didn't really click with me at that point. Um, fast forward some years, and uh, I was uh, I was teaching in York County at the time, and I was uh, just looking around um, and saw a little tea shop. Went okay, I'll stroll in there. Why not? And uh, ended up getting hooked. Uh, it was a very approachable environment and really uh, welcoming staff. Uh, at the time, the original founder and owner, uh, Chris Farishan, she was just a really amazing person, really dedicated to uh, just spreading the love of tea, but in a really accessible way. And of course, the tea was delicious, so that didn't hurt either. <laughs> so uh, I went uh, regularly, almost like a stalker, for about six months. <laughs> and when there was an opening after that time. Uh, I was surprisingly offered the position because <laughs> um, they were like, well, you're, you know all the teas anyway. You want, you, you want to come in here? <laughs> and, uh, and I was like, sure, okay. And uh, so that was that. That was in about 2014. And then uh, in 2017, um, Chris was ready for her next adventure. And she asked me, hey, would you be interested in uh, purchasing the business since I'm ready to move on and find what what's next for me out there and I was like okay but I've never owned a business before I can't do this by myself um, I'll, I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about their journey but uh, they were working with me at the time and I said you know I can do it on my own so I would want Emily to be on board and she was like great cool and you know here we are <laughs> well that's great that's exciting I love how that uh, journey unfolded for you and then uh, over on my end, uh, surprisingly similar in a lot of ways. Uh, I had been a high school teacher with Hampton City Schools uh, for a few years at this point in time. And um, I had a really stressful year of teaching and I already knew that I was going to be switching careers soon. So I helped de-stress by heading into this cute little brick and mortar tea shop that I had originally found at a convention. And I went in thinking, ah, yes, this is gonna be the perfect place for me to come and decompress after a really hard work day. This is great. And then I found out that not only did they have over a hundred different teas and tea blends available, but every person working there could tell me about every single one of those blends and where they came from and what the story was behind their creation and things like that. I loved the stories. I loved the educational and approachable, as my aunt said, uh, aspects to the business. And I started thinking, you know what? Wouldn't it be funny if they were hiring? <laughs> nah, nah, that, that's, a, that's a pipe dream. But it turns out they were and after talking with them enough, uh, unbeknownst to me, they had decided that I was the right person to come on board next. And so they offered me the position and I went ahead and made the jump. And um, a few years later, 
as my aunt said, uh, she brought me on board as co-owner and um, the rest is history. <laughs> well, I love how that journey has unfolded for the two of you. That is very exciting. So now I can't wait till we uh, dive in and I hear about those wellness tips that you're looking to share. Thanks. Okay, so uh, one of the first things for, for me that I would recommend is making the switch from tea bags to loose leaf tea. Now, obviously that is gonna sound, you know, we do sell loose leaf tea. So, you know, take that how you want to. But a lot of people are they're seeing online or on TV the health benefits of tea. So they go out and they get tea. Most likely the tea that they find, because it's more, most common, is tea bags. And while tea bags can be a perfectly enjoyable drink, because of the way they're made, they're generally made with what's called dust and fannings, which is the, the lowest grades of uh, loose leaf tea. It's basically at the very, what's left after they're done packaging the loose leaf tea. Uh, because of that, a lot of the polyphenols and other uh, nutrients are not as present in tea bags as they would be in loose tea. Mm. Um, and then a lot of the times, if it's old dust and fannings or something like that, or it doesn't have a lot of flavor, then it's supplemented by artificial flavor, uh, which again, kind of gives you this false sense of what's going on and also may encourage you to do things like put more sugar in your tea and if you're trying to avoid sugar then that would be a bad thing. <laughs> Definitely and I think all of us kind of grew up at one time with uh, tea bags. Um, most people aren't fortunate enough to know about all, everything you just shared with us and do start with tea bags so that's a really important piece to know. Thank you. It's a good starting point but you can you can upgrade it. <laughs> So tell us more. What does that mean? For upgrading, actually one of my top recommendations would be not just to switch to loose leaf tea, but in addition to that, to use the process of making loose leaf tea as part of your daily self-care kind of ritual. We tend to hear self-care talked about in terms of like, oh, by 15 bath bombs and use one every day and that's not fully what self-care is uh, it started off as a revolutionary way to make prioritizing yourself just as important as any other priority in your life and for that reason one thing that my Anne and i have talked about pretty much ever since we both met as employees of the business was how important it is to take a few moments out of each day and uh, center yourself in what's going on, uh, ground yourself in the physical world around you. And making a cup of loose leaf is a really great way to do that. You get to have all of your senses involved. You get to watch the process of the leaves unfolding in the water. You get to smell the tea leaves and then the tea itself as it brews up. You get to uh, hold all the implements that you use to make tea. You get to taste it. You get to hear the sound of the water coming to temperature. It's just a really nice way to take a few minutes and remind yourself that you're more than what your job is. You're more than what any of the individual relationships with people over the course of your day might be. You you are worth that break, you are worth that time. Yes. I feel like we just need to take a pause and soak all of that in. <laughs> that was awesome. That was so powerful and so true. People really do misunderstand what self-care is and I love how tea can become part of that daily self-care ritual. And I never thought of it in that way. And it makes complete sense. And I think that's a great another layer for all of our wellness uh, toolboxes. That's great. Thank you for sharing. So can't hear, can't wait to hear what's the next one. <laughs> These are amazing. So one of the other things that I like to recommend for people who are looking for um, upgrading their just their their lifestyle and not necessarily trying to get healthier, but moving away from less artificial um, ingredients and things like that is uh, making your own iced tea or cold brew tea in instead of buying something off the shelf or uh, <laughs> or drinking a soda or a 
artificially flavored juice or something like that simply because it's a good uh it's a good way to stay hydrated a lot of people say caffeine is dehydrating but that's in isolation um and of course in moderation you have this much leaf in this much water the water is the part that hydrates you so <laughs> um so it's a great thing for this time of year since we're recording this in the summer um to although of course we make cold steam time of year that's good thing. <laughs> uh but it's definitely a fun way to just sort of make it yourself, control what goes into your diet, the diet of your family, just in terms of what you're intaking. Not necessarily in terms of like a specific diet, just in terms of, okay, I'm ingesting this. I know exactly what's in it. It's all natural flavors. Um, and a lot of times when, as your body and your palate get used to natural flavoring, uh, one of the things that we've noticed is uh, if sweetness and sugar is an issue, you actually end up needing less and less sugar because you get used to the natural stuff. So it just gives you a really nice flavor uh, that you can really enjoy. People will either drink it plain or they'll start with a, a bunch of sugar and then sort of scale down as needed. And we've got tons and tons of different blends that are great for that, fruit blends, caffeine-free blends. And of course, if you're interested in uh, something to help your body through some different challenges, we have our well-teeing blends as well. Um, that are that are pretty good. Great. And what would you recommend for, say, that person who is a coffee drinker who's trying to switch to tea? Uh, wh where would that person start with uh, a type of tea? For that, uh, our top recommendation is one of our house blends. We have a blend called Irish Mocha Latte. Ooh. And it's a really nice hearty blend of uh, black tea, including an Irish breakfast tea, which has this nice, rich, almost malty note to it. A um, little bit of rooibos for some extra antioxidants, a little bit of extra like roundness to the flavor. And it has some cacao bean oil for a dark chocolate flavor and it also has some decaffeinated Ethiopian coffee in it so you get a little bit of that coffee some deep rich dark chocolate and a good strong black tea base and it's you know it's not the same as a cup of coffee but as somebody who enjoys both tea and coffee I really like that one great that sounds exciting thank you and were there any other wellness tips that you'd like to share with us today around tea? Uh, I had one, if, if that's okay, Mayan. It actually kind of piggybacks off of what you were saying. Um, and that is, we get a lot of people asking us, oh, what's the best tea for such a, what's the best tea for my health mm -hmm. uh, as a very vague question. And um, I have a, a couple small recommendations for if that's the sort of question that any of the people watching this might have. Uh, one, see if you can narrow down what specific kinds of health effects you're looking for, because there are a lot of different effects that you can get from tea itself and also from specific combinations of herbs. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you're looking for something that is good for just your overall health and well-being, and you are trying out a specific kind of tea because you heard that it was really good for overall health and you don't end up liking the taste of it, you're not going to drink it. So <laughs> go with a tea that you enjoy the taste of. Tea itself has a lot of health benefits to it. So if you like what you're drinking, go for it and stick with it. And you can always expand your palate beyond that as you see fit. I think that's so important for people to think about because I think exactly what you just said happens all the time because people will go ahead and they'll be like, okay, well, I heard that turmeric is really great for anti-inflammatory, but then if they're not used to turmeric and they get in this huge quantity, <laughs> they're just like, oh, <laughs> I know I'm used to it and I love it, but if my husband were to try to have a glass of uh, turmeric tea, he's just like, Thanks, Kim, but no thanks. <laughs> and I get the little like, woo, brownie face. <laughs> so yeah, definitely need to make sure you're finding the, the tea that resonates with your palate for sure. That's exciting. And you guys have so many different types 
of tea available. I know I've seen your website and it just feels like the, the options are endless, which is exciting. Yeah, and that's not even going into our custom blend options. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, you two have done an incredible job with uh, your online business and bringing all of this to everywhere. And I think that's part that's so exciting is people from anywhere can order this, correct? Yes, we should. Well, we ship um, throughout the United States, uh, including, you know, Puerto Rico, Alaska, Hawaii, and uh, those areas like that, and then also uh, APOs. Okay. So if anybody wanted to join um, your newsletter or follow you um, to on um, social media, what would be the best way for them to connect? Our newsletter, you can sign up online at discoverteas.com backslash email hyphen newsletter hyphen sign up. Uh, you can also, well, I'll let Emily say the social media part because Emily is actually the one who does most of the social media. <laughs> I, uh, for following us on social media, uh, you can, the best way to follow us is on Facebook, facebook.com slash discover tees. Um, we are also on Twitter, but we're much less on Twitter than that. Uh, and if you ever want to see some of the goofier stuff that we get up to, we make occasional posts on Instagram as well. Okay, well, that's fun and something else exciting to look forward to. <laughs> so definitely then, check out Instagram. I feel like there's all these like little suspense. We need to find out what that means. <laughs> and then we also have our uh, T-Rex uh, videos and our online Tea Academy Friday FAQ videos on YouTube. Uh, search for Discover Teas. There's one channel that has, I think, 111, a bunch of videos. That's ours. <laughs> Okay. The other one is also ours, but we haven't figured out how to get it off yet because it's one of the old ones and it has many fewer, not, <laughs> not many videos at all. <laughs> okay. Well, we will make sure that we definitely put all of the social media links below so that everyone can uh, connect and uh, start checking out uh, all the different types of teas as well as uh, get on the newsletter. And of course, uh, we're no longer in brick and mortar anymore since uh, we transitioned out of that in 2017. But you can find us online at discoverkeys.com and we have several locations for free pickup in the Hampton Roads area. You just order online, select your location when it's ready for pickup, usually within the week, but it depends on, you know, if the hours match up and things like that. Uh, then we will drop it off there. We'll send you a text or email notification and you can pick it right up or of course we ship nationwide. Okay, that's exciting. I love it. And is there any else, anything else um, that either of you have thought of that you'd like to share with the, the viewers today? Um, mostly just stay safe out there, everyone. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and uh, keep your eyes out because I'm hoping to be back fairly soon. Uh, I have a, a new business venture starting up that I'm gonna be uh, talking with Kim about. Uh, shortly, I'm mostly just waiting on the business license to make it in, so, yeah. Okay, well that's exciting, I can't wait. We'll keep our fingers crossed for you, and I want to thank you both for your time today and for being here and for sharing uh, your wisdom and knowledge uh, with everyone, so thank you so much. Thank you, Kim. This was great. Yeah, and thank you for hosting this channel every week. Thank yes, I hope what we had to say was helpful. <laughs> You're very welcome. Thank you so much.